Hi, I'm Stephen Curran, and this is a demonstration of ARIES Connecting and Messaging. This demo, demo shows how pairwise DIDs are used to establish a secure end-to-end -end messaging connection between two ARIES agents. The demo is part of the Linux Foundation's course LFS172X, Introduction to Hyperledger Sovereign Identity Blockchain Solutions, Indies, ARIES, and URSA. Pairwise DIDs are the foundation of the DIDCOM protocol for sending messages between agents. As discussed in the course, the DIDCOM envelope protocol is used to send messages between agents, and any number of content protocols are sent within those envelopes to do, well, almost anything. For example, in this demo, we will use several content protocols, including connection to establish a connection between two agents, trust ping to confirm the connection is functional, and basic message to send a text message from one agent to the other. Let's get started. Okay, for this demo, we're gonna use two agents. One of them is gonna be uh, one called Agent Book here on the left side. Agent Book is a uh, simple test messaging uh, ARIES agent that um, the uh, group at the province of British Columbia uses for testing agents uh, and functionality. On the other side, I'm just gonna use a command line agent. This is gonna be another version of Alice, but uh, run on the command line. So to start uh, on the command line, I have to set up the ARIES agent. This is described, these steps are described uh, in uh, uh, an associated document. So if you wanna try these things yourself, you can. So Alice is starting up and what we can do over in the agent book is generate an invitation. Uh, let's make the Alice screen a little bigger so we can see what's going on. So sit, uh, Alice is sitting waiting for an invitation to connect. So basically she started up um, her agent is running at least, and she's waiting for an invitation. Over here in the agent book is an invitation. It looks fairly complex. I can copy that, and it's a URL, as you can see, and then just a bunch of, um, of seemingly random characters. There's also a QR code, so if you are using a mobile agent, you could also connect to this and use this connection. I'm gonna demonstrate what's, or, or show what's in that um, text first before we continue. So. Uh, let me go to this page. This is a, um, that text is base64 encoded. So it actually is a chunk of JSON. So I'm gonna take out the URL part, just leave that and decode it. And what I see is I actually have a whole bunch of JSON in it. And to make that even easier to see, I'm gonna use a, another tool that I just randomly found on the internet that lets me validate the JSON. And I see that I've got a set of information. I have a, a recipient key, a, a public key. I have a label that this is agent book. And then a thing that says, this is a, a DIDCOM message and it's a connections invitation message. Now, Alice can accept um, any form of invitation or at least this version of Alice. So I can actually, um, I think I will use the, um, this version of it. I'm just going to copy this and paste that in as plain text. So I've got an invitation going in. And there we see that Alice has accepted that, has connected. Now, Alice, let's go back to Agent Book. And um, with Agent Book, once you establish a connection, you can see what's going on in the connection. And we can see a, a reverse chronological view of what's happened. We, they generated an in, invitation. Alice sent the uh, connection request back. Agent book sent the response. Trust pings were exchanged. So that's one version. That's a, a couple of messages that were sent to verify the connection. Now with this connection, um, I can see that um, uh, Alice agent, Alice's agent has a did. I have a did. Time it was established. And I could send a message there. Um, Alice's agent actually responded with a message that says, hey, I got this. That's an actual automated response. And over in this window, we can see that Alice actually received the message. And over here, I can say, hi, agent book. And over here, we should see the message come across. Oops. You have to say send message first. So send hi, agent book. Send it across. I've got my high agent book and agent book message receipt. So that shows how to establish a connection using the invitation process. So using an invitation, then a pair of messages um, to establish the connection. We then sent a pair of messages back and forth between the connections to make sure that everything was working, the pings. 
and then we used it to send, exchange text messages. These are not all the protocols you can use. There's actually an unlimited number. You can create your own if you want. Um, so for example, what could happen now is um, Agent Book, for example, could send a, uh, could use a protocol to issue a credential to Alice or could use a protocol to request a proof back from Alice. Hope that all makes sense. That's the end of this presentation. Um, as noted, um, there is guidance in there so that you can run this process yourself.